Okay, so there's a pretty big new feature inside of Google's Bard that allows you to create images in the chat, bringing some multimodality finally to Bard with Imogen 2. All right, let's jump in and take a quick look. If you're new here, what's going on, y'all? My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. So this is called our AI in 5. In about five minutes, we uh, show you a new tool tip technique to leverage generative AI. So let's take a look at this new uh, update from Bard. Ready? So let's let's go into it. So Bard is obviously Google's large language model competitor to ChatGPT um, or Microsoft's Copilot. So you know, real quick, here's the update. You can create images with Bard with uh, Imogen too. I think it's Imogen. Maybe it's Imagen. Um, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. All right, but more or less. Let's just go out and try. All right, let's let's, let's give it a try. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say, uh, please create a photo of a cute. Uh, let's do a Labrador. I can't spell live, man. Okay, here we go. Labrador uh, retriever puppy walking in a Chicago park in the sunlight. Let's just try that, right? So kind of specific, but still pretty basic, still pretty general. All right, so um, as this is going, let me just tell you uh, a little bit about why you might want to use this. Well, um, the future, uh, hey, not bad. It was actually pretty quick. So, I mean, the future of large language models is multimodality. So, um, you know, being able to uh, put text in and, you know, get different, uh, you know, formats out. So, you know, BARD is actually... Although I, it's not my top three, um, you know, large language model, it's actually probably the easiest to learn. So if you are new to the large language models, it's pretty good. And you can always, what I love about Bard is, you know, you can input using uh, a microphone. You can uh, listen. So I can click this. You're probably not going to be able to hear it. All right. So you probably can't hear this, but it's saying, sure, here's a photo of. All right. So not bad. So now what I want to test is if it uh, takes, you know, natural conversation into mind. So I'm going to say, uh, great make it uh make the dog yellow let's just say so sometimes you have to kind of retype out the prompt so i'm testing this and it's something i love within uh chat gpt is you know you can just have a convert an ongoing conversation with your photos um to make sure it comes out a little better so uh so it did that which is good so it still kept in the the fact that i wanted a labrador retriever so it didn't um really get the chicago aspect so i'm gonna say good uh now make it look like Chicago. So maybe we'll get a background, uh, you know, of a, of a city, something like that. So, you know, so far, especially for this just being released, I will tell you, it's fairly fast. Um, the image quality, it's okay. You know, it's, um, I'd say it's not quite where Dolly is, at least right now in very initial testing. Um, but it's, it's actually, um, pretty decent, I would say. And, you know, what we'll probably do We'll probably go right into this and, and do a quick uh, Dolly test as well. Uh, but I actually wanted to do this. So we just had a mid-journey uh, episode on, had Rory Flynn on the show. And I'm going to take this extremely long prompt. Aside from some of the things that are um, a little more mid-journey specific. So this is a very long, uh, we, you know, we we're talking about prompt coherence. So this is in mid-journey, ultra specific. I just want to see what happens uh, when we try this with Imogen and Bard. Uh, so I'm going to say, I might have to say, create a photo of. So let's see how this works. This is obviously extremely difficult. Um, it spit it out very fast. I, personally, I'm not expecting um, anything uh, anything close to, to this, uh, which is, I mean, the quality of this is pretty good, right? Um, obviously, you can you can tell. You know, if you investigate it long enough that this is AI image generated, but like, especially kind of zoomed out quickly, it looks pretty good. So let's see how Bard did or if it even completed that. So yeah, it said, I can't generate an image of that. So who knows? Maybe it could be because we said satisfied Brazilian woman laying in bed with a cigarette. So who knows? So let's, um, let me just try to create a shorter version of that. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, please create a photo of. Create a photo of a Brazilian woman laying in bed, and let's just do the rest. 
So yeah, sometimes it 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 could be because of the you know film stock that I put in there, or, or you know who knows. So um, it says I'm unable to fulfill your request because it includes elements that are against our policy. I cannot generate images of people. There we go. Okay, so can't generate images of people, which is interesting. Um, I think that's one of the main reasons uh, why people use an image generator like this. So that's curious. I'm, I'm just going to try. I'm going to say um, uh, a photo of a boy walking a puppy, right? Let's see if we can get that. So uh, at least at least here it says it can't uh, generate images of people, especially in the way they are depicted, that could be harmful or unsafe. So uh, I'm not sure why that came up. Um, so let's see. So it says, I can't generate images of this. Okay, so interesting. So, so far, it looks like uh, it can't generate images of any people. I didn't know if that was just a hallucination, an error. Uh, I think you get that pretty often in Bard. Um, so I'm going to say, a uh, create a photo of a smiling person. So I didn't see anything in here. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, it, it, it doesn't look like there's anything in here uh, in their release note about not being able to use uh, people or images of people. Um, but then again, so here we go. So just some some mixed, um, you know, some mixed uh, results here uh, from Bard uh, with the new uh, Imagine 2 uh, model. It says it can't do people, uh, but then when I do something very simple, it does. So uh, it's, it's interesting. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna give it one more try. So I kind of, you know, normally I do these all live. I did pause this and I actually got this to generate uh, in a new chat. So um, it's interesting. So yeah, it's super buggy right now and technically getting some kind of hallucinations because uh, Bard um, Imagine or is saying that it can't uh, do photos of people. But after, you know, in this chat, I went back and forth and, and got a version of it. Um, I had to take out laying on a bed. I had to take out the description of, you know, a satisfied woman with a cigarette. Um, so when I played around with the, the the prompt a little bit, it was able to get it. But um, yeah, funky, weird, but it's early. So don't worry about that. The story here is uh, new. Uh, imagine to model in Bard. You're able to generate images. Uh, go give it a try. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, and also, make sure, if you haven't already, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.